everyone, it's Pablo here. In this video, I will share with you some tips uh, how I clean and condition leather saddles uh, mostly. And today I'll also be doing my, my boots. So, um, some of the boots now, they're not too bad, it's just a little bit of grass and some, um, some dust. So, the first product I like to use is Glycerin Saddle Soap by Thiebings. And what this does is cleans the leather, but it also lubricates. It's um, it, it doesn't dry out the leather. Um, the one thing people are afraid to do is to get the leather wet, because they think that it would have a harsh leather, damaged leather. You can get it wet if you dry it as fast as you can without using any heat and then condition uh, and this glycerin soap doesn't dry out as much as you use some other products it cleans very well and also gives it a nice shine i actually use glycerin soap to polish and burnish my edges on my new uh, saddles or any any tag i use like 10 leather so i have a spray bottle here and what i added to the water is this product uh, it's from being a uh, leather leather care pro carve uh, this is used for uh, casing casing leather it's a concentrate for casing leather but it it has some cleaning uh, properties as well and reduces the mold uh, so I like to use it also for to mix it with water so um, the leather especially if it was wet for longer and there could be some mold in the leather uh, I like to use that with my with my saddle soap and as I have a here's just water in this container uh, if it's if I can smell there's mold on it I will also squeeze some lemon juice in the water lemon juice also helps to to remove some mold from your from your attack uh, I also use then the lemon juice without any uh, dilution straight under your sponge I just squeeze lemon juice on the sponge and after it was cleaned I just wipe the whole saddle or the whole project uh, with lemon juice and let, let it dry the very important thing is with cleaning and conditioning uh, of the saddle oiling let the leather dry before you use the next pro uh, product um, so I start with my, uh, my boots so did I just spray it on to get it a little bit wet and just get my sponge wet and use my my glycerin soap and I like to get nice foam here. Just clean clean the leather. It's actually very good also for if you're using for your boots to clean the stitching. It wasn't too bad now, so I can just use a sponge. If it's a little bit more dirty, I would use some kind of soft brush. Coarse enough it will clean and soft enough it will not scratch the leather. It's always good to, to test. I'll clean my sponge again. And if it's a bigger project like a saddle, I would then change my water every when I see it's getting dirty. Just get into all the grooves. The this this poor this poor groove that needs a good clean because some of the dirt can get stuck in there and uh Every time you get some some uh, tight spots and dirt and uh, moisture gets there, you can then have problem with the mold. So if you have a if you're using cowboy boots, it's good to have actually two pairs because if you're using every day just one pair, and especially if it's wet outside for a longer time, like here in Ireland or England. Uh, you can get problem with with uh, with the mold, and the, they will never actually be completely dry. 
so they won't last as long. So it's good to have two pairs if you can afford them, and so you can you can swap them around. So one pair they can get a little break, get they can get dry, and you can put a conditioner, and you can use the other pair for the other days, and that will prolong the life of your boots uh, a lot. So that's one thing I would advise to somebody who's using those every day. Uh, get a second pair and maybe get some uh, boots with uh, all tan leather because uh, they won't be more water resistant they, they won't uh, soak up as much moisture I just wipe this the paper towel whatever excess of the foam oil uh, the water so I can get some uh, piece of sheepskin here now we're gonna leave this to dry and I won't be doing the whole process with you I think it's more important to show the products I'm using because I think it's a pretty straightforward process so I leave this to dry if the leather was very very dry and wasn't being conditioned like they were uh, for a long time, I would use, especially on thicker leather, I would use Nilswood oil. I use it for my saddles, and this saddle you can see here, it was very very old saddle I have here, and um, it was actually uh, very very dry, so when, after I cleaned with my uh, glycerin soap, I used lemon juice, because there was some bad, bad smell, bad odor, and I think some mold happening there. So I clean everything, let it dry, and uh, I put actually three coats of Neatswood oil because it was so dry. Very light coat, but three of them. Uh, actually, I used also just to refresh the, the color, I used uh, oil dye um, on the whole saddle. And after the three coats, and I always left the leather 24 hours between each coat and uh, if you put too much oil at once it's not good for the fibers either you can saturate the fibers too much uh, the leather was very very bad uh, so I did my best and after the oil I've used this product it's also the same company Be Natural Leather, uh, leather Care it's a Rudy's conditioner and finish um, this is used for new saddles on the rough outs. It gives nice finish. Uh, it's a conditioner, but also uh, I think it's made of boric acid or something. Uh, it removes mold, so this is very good product. Um, you can. It has a slight shine already after this. I used this yesterday. I let it dry again. Another important step, and I polished it with my uh, with my sheepskin. Uh, so. This is not water resistant. This is it's a conditioner, so it uh, it's nurtures the leather and resists soiling, as you can see. And um, but I wouldn't use it as my top coat. Uh, the last thing, or my boots, if they are not too dry, I will only put my final coat, which is this product. It's a Fibbing Aussie leather conditioner. And this has wax, the uh, beeswax in it, so it waterproofs, it's, it conditions the leather. So on my boots, when these are dry, I probably use only this after cleaning, nothing else. That's the finish I like, and uh, it's a really good waterproofer. Um, I like to use my hands, or sometimes uh, some clean um, old t-shirt. And I like to use it on the rough out. Actually, also on my carved part, so I, I can show you how I use this product because this is ready for top coat. So it has the lemon juice, three coats of needs food oil, uh, the Rudy's conditioner for mold, and my final wax sealer. It's pretty soft. Uh, the other finish I use on my uh, carved parts is this same company, 
this is a wax finish. If it was a new product, uh, a saddle I was making or anything which was cart, I would use this on the cart parts because it gives a nice shine. But this paste uh, is more of a conditioner, especially in this saddle because it was so old and the leather is was in a bad shape. I would like to use something more protective than just looking good. And uh, this can be buffed with a sheepskin to a nice shine as well. Um, so I prefer to use this. So I'm going to show you uh, nothing special, just one, even a heavy coat like that, just to cover all the tooling. I put it on my edges, I put it on the bottom, and it will give beautiful shine without looking plasticky or like using acryl. So just wipe it on. And this will seal the leather, it will protect it for longer and uh, it will waterproof it so it's very good for boots and it doesn't leave any white uh, residue in the carved design. If you, if you do your job right after, you, I'll show you what I do after I put it on, I'm just gonna leave it for a minute or so and I'm gonna wipe off any excess because there are some other creams, conditioners that, uh, which uh, have the beeswax or another wax and they actually leave the wax leaves a white residue so especially if it was uh, carved or tooled like a basket weave you will have white marks all over the saddle and you have to really work hard to get rid of them and uh, Put it on heavy and then I will use my sheepskin and first I maybe I use paper towel to get rid of my uh, my excess. You have to be careful with oil. If you put too much oil at once, uh, especially if the leather is really dry and or it's or it's new, uh, you can get oil stains and it can actually damage the leather. Uh, but with this conditioner it doesn't soak in so fast. The cream is not the oil, so you can't do really any harm. You putting too much, and you're gonna remove it. So, actually, the best thing I'm gonna do, use is use a, some uh, old T-shirt. Just gonna remove the heavy bits. It's also good for softening leather. If the leather is really, really hard, if it's a new saddle, uh, I would recommend uh, if there is, if it's a natural finish, to put maybe some little, uh, one coat of needs food oil. You can heat it up. I always heat up needs food oil when I when I apply the leather. It it soaks in deeper and more evenly. Um, and then. Use this as a top top coat. You can't really do anything wrong. If you put too much, you just wipe it off. You won't have any stains like from oil. With oil, you have to be very careful. If you've seen some of my oiling videos before, um, I go light, I spread it out. If I have any any uh, extra drops. I just have always a paper towel ready and I just wipe it off straight away because if you leave one spot with more oil, you're gonna have an oil stain there and you're never gonna remove it. It's probably gonna stay there. If it's thin leather, I don't use oil, I just use this cream. And if it's thicker like the saddle, I use oil first or more coats. So you can see the beautiful shine. get the, the most of it off so I don't have too much on my sheepskin so the sheepskin will uh, 
it and use much more sheepskin than I have now. So it's nice to use a piece of tallow first. And now I can take my sheepskin and just get out, especially work these areas with the tooling to get any of the axes out. I leave it then dry and then I buff it up uh, finally, but now I just want to remove all the axes. Just do this, this top piece only because if I do the whole saddle, it will be taking much longer for you to see on the video, but I'm gonna finish it after a while. So this is basically my favorite uh, way of cleaning and conditioning uh, letters. So this is how it looks. Let's check if you can see. It's nice and shine. My edges are also sealed. The wax is very good sealer and uh, comparing to acrylic it allows the leather to breathe. It's not as uh, durable, doesn't last as long, but it's much more natural for the leather. And I believe that the leather needs to breathe so it can perform better and stay healthier if I can put it that way. And uh, so this is my my way of cleaning and conditioning the leather. And um, it works very well. I use it over years. And these are my favorite products I use. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below. Uh, these products can be bought from different suppliers. If you're in America, all these uh, can be purchased by the, by the Weaver company. And um, if you're in Europe, uh, you can also also contact them and you get a wholesale account and all buy it re retail. This is also you can buy this Aussie conditioner uh, in um, on eBay and Tandis. Many many uh, places you can just Google it and you can find uh, several places where you can purchase this product. Um, glycerin soap you don't have to buy it from Feebinks, but whatever you can buy glycerin saddle soap. Uh, it's it works very well. There are so many new projects three in one four in one uh, Cleaners conditioners um, I don't think they do any harm just for me I believe it's, it's nice to do it in several steps than just do it all at once. So uh, this is more traditional way and um, Don't try to skip steps and uh, you're gonna have much better uh, results so thanks very much for watching and uh, if you like this video you can hit the like button and you can subscribe to my youtube channel uh, where we'll be putting some more videos and have a nice day